Hey, I'm Anton. Welcome to another GTA 5 LSPDFR episode. Today, I'm going to be using a pretty cool car for this patrol. This is a Nissan GTR, and this thing is a beast. It's really, really quick, and it's got over 500, 500 horsepower. So it goes really fast, like I said. And I hope we really get some exciting calls today, because if we get something like Grandma's got her purse lost, who cares, Grandma? We need some pursuits or something like that. So before we get started, let's do a quick walk around here of the car. As you can see here today, we do have it in this really nice dark blue color. And I love how the GTR looks. I mean, it's got this really aggressive sports type of styling. Not a typical police car that you see, but of course it makes for a very fun patrol. So there you go. That's what it looks like on the outside. Let's hop in here. Let's have a look into the interior. I'm going to jump into the first person mode like so and there we go we got our computer here uh it's a tough book a panasonic tough book there's of course is the nissan gtr our radar installed right there on the dashboard the hands are on the wheel i love when the hands are on the wheel a lot of these cars sometimes you do not have the hands on the wheel the um windshield's got a nice view here from the from the inside the rear view mirror seems to be <laughs> really blocky and i believe it's upside down which is kind of really strange and so is the side view mirrors. The mirrors are upside down. So, you know those little inscription at the bottom that says objects may be closer than they appear? Objects may be upside down than they appear. But not too bad on the inside. Not a heck of a lot of room there in the back. And let's go take a look at these lights here. Now, I do my ALS lights in reverse. So, I, we will start here with stage three. And you can see we got the two lights there on the back. Of course, the tail lights going off as well. There's some strobes inside the tail lights, which is pretty cool. And then we'll swing around here to the front of the car. I would have liked to maybe see some uh, some of the uh, side runners there. I think that would have been really cool. It would have just added another light layer here to the vehicle, but that's okay. We do have some lights there behind the windshield and a couple of lights. Uh, more than a couple, but a few lights in the grill. And then we'll go ahead and drop this into the second stage of ALS. Now, the second stage will essentially just uh, change up some of the patterns so it doesn't introduce any sort of lights or turn them off. You can see in the back, it looks pretty much exactly the same. We still have the strobes going off. We still have the lights. Just a slightly, slightly different pattern there. And of course, stage one of ELS. We'll just have the lights there in the back, the back window. No strobes. And up in the front, no lights at all. Just completely dark. So there you go. There's the car and all of its lights. We're going to get out here on patrol on this very beautiful evening here in the Strawberry Davis area. Let's see what sort of calls we can find. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm going to be 1041 and go ahead and show me 108. And that guy, whoa, he almost ran someone down as well. He made a very wide right hand turn and then nearly ran down that other pedestrian. Let me go ahead and get behind him here. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1028 check. Marker is 60, Tom John Mary 310. Let's see what that comes back as. And he just ran through a stop sign. Tom John Mary 310, no 1099 on the vehicle. Okay, so he just ran through the stop sign. There's a lot of cars parked here on the side of the road. It's a very busy street. Whoa, we got another officer in the GTR responding to something. Off he goes. All right, so I'm going to find an opportunity here to pull this fella over. Uh, the running of the stop sign is going to be my reason for stopping him, but he did, like I said, make that very wide right-hand turn and almost ran down a pedestrian, which is not great. That is not great at all. There's some bad, bad driving. So let me see if I can find a spot once we get clear here of this intersection to pull him over and we'll talk to him and see what's going on tonight. All right, he's going to make a turn here onto Lowestine. I'm going to light up behind him. Surprise! Did not expect me. I was a cop, did you? He is stopping for me. Let's get him somewhere maybe to the side. Uh, left right here. Maybe this will do. We'll have to make this work. We will have to make this work. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Go ahead and show me 1038 Lowestine Boulevard with a black phoenix. I'm just going to jump here into my computer. Let's see if we can find some more details out insurance is valid registration is valid as well not a stolen car Catherine brooks is the registered owner of the vehicle she's 52 years old has been stopped three times already license is valid no active warrants previous citations failure to present insurance and looks like twice 
back in 2016 and 2017, she was driving <laughs> under the influence. And there you go. So she could be driving under the influence today again. Let me hop out here, have a conversation with her. Let's see how this goes. Uh, good evening there, ma'am. And see, right off the bat, I knew it. I knew it. The moment I saw her make that wide turn, I knew something was wrong. Look at that odor of alcohol. Good evening, ma'am. My name is Anton with the Los Santos Police Department. Bet you didn't expect me there in this really cool Nissan GTR. The reason why I'm stopping you today is you made a really wide turn. Uh, back on the uh, street back there. What street was that? I can't quite remember. Um, but you did make the wi very wide turn. You almost ran down a pedestrian and then uh, you ran through a stop sign as well. So that's the reason why I'm stopping you today, ma'am. Do you have a driver's license on you? Catherine Brooks. Th Catherine, thank you very much. Quick question here for you. Have you had anything to drink tonight? Oh, such a headache! Yeah, okay, so you've had quite a bit to drink. And have you taken any drugs in the past few hours? No, why? Okay, I'm just asking you some questions. Okay, Catherine, so here's what we're going to do. It's going to be pretty uh, simple here since you have admitted to me that you've been drinking. What is that cop doing? He's just driving around in this white GTR, pulling people over. I hear more sirens. Is there something I should be made aware of? All right, Catherine, let's go ahead and do a quick breathalyzer test. I'm going to ask you to blow into this device here for me. Let's see what the breathalyzer shows us because I can smell it in the car and it is 0 0.096. So just a little bit over the limit there for the legal limit of 0 0.08. Catherine, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to uh, you turn around, put your hands behind your back. You are being placed under arrest for driving under the influence. You blew 0 0.096 there on my breathalyzer. That is over the legal limit. Thank you very much. I do appreciate you cooperating with me. You have anything illegal on you, Catherine? Any weapons? Any drugs? Any other alcohol? Sometimes I found alcohol on them. Let's take a look here. We're going to give a quick little pad down and see if she's got anything there. Nothing of interest there on Catherine Brooks. Okay, Catherine, I'll get you picked up since I cannot put you into this car. There's really no space in the back and she is not going in the front of the vehicle. So let's get a unit here to come out and grab her. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10, requesting a 1091 on Lowestoft Boulevard for a suspect in custody. For a suspect placed under arrest let's see here Rancho. if we can quickly search her car. Oh, no, I don't want to search her. Roger. Maybe we'll just wait for the prisoner transport to pick her up. Where are they? There they are. Hello, we're right over here. They are on the wrong side of the road and there is a train in between. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to take them a while to figure out. They are not the smartest. And I will be surprised, actually very surprised, if they are able to get over here and go around us. Nothing of interest here inside the vehicle. Let's go ahead and get this thing towed. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. I also require a 1051 here to my location for the Black Phoenix. Yeah, good luck figuring this out, boys. There's no way they're going to make it. Hey, look, they're trying, but they're not going to make it. Come on. Really? Really? Wow. Wow, we actually made it. Wow, I am impressed. I, I really am. I really am impressed. Usually, they are terrible at figuring out these hard intersections or different sides of the road. Like, what is he doing there? What's going on? You tell me what's going on. You're apparently running people over. Where are you going? Oh, he took the long way around. Hello, oh, officer. Whack, son. Yeah, it is whack. Yo, what the fuck? Okay, wow, that's no need, no need for that language. All right, um, he's gonna try to pick her up, I somehow, and uh, we're still waiting for the tow trucks here. So I'll close up the scene and we'll be code four and ten eight. Okay, let's make a left turn over here. I think I'm gonna grab myself. Oh, hello. Hello. I was about to say I'm going to grab myself another traffic violator, but there it is. Somebody smashing right into the back of my GTR. She's not even getting out or doing anything. Oh, she's so lucky. Oh, uh, 10851. I've never heard that code before, but okay. It's a stolen car. Uh, Roger that dispatch. 3 Adam 10 responding code 3. Lady, you are so lucky that I have a stolen vehicle called because I was going to let her have it, but not anymore. Let's head out here, code three. Get our way through traffic here. We should get there pretty quickly since we are driving the GTR. Uh, another turn here coming up. Man, this thing turns really tightly. I love it. And there's the officer right down here. 
This is where he spotted the stolen vehicle, I believe. Hey, officer. Got here as quick as I could. What's going on? Where is the stolen car? There is no stolen car. Who knows where the stolen car is? It is nowhere to be found. Officer, gonna have to give oh, me some more info. Life is a bag of shit. Your life is a bag of shit. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that, officer, but unfortunately, there's not much I can do there. I can help you with the stolen vehicle. I can't help you fix your life. You're gonna have to do that on your own. All right, so he's just standing there kind of doing nothing. I don't know where the stolen car is. Do we have any details in our computer here for this call? Um, let's see here. It is a... Mishka, what are you doing? The cat is, like, right around me here. What What is going on? It's a black Comet. Uh, license plate is 47YSF149. Let's go see if maybe we can find it. I will drive around and see if maybe I can spot a black Comet driving around here. That would be a stolen vehicle. And if not, I guess they got away. Well, I had to go code 4 on that because I couldn't find the Black Comet, but we'll have an APB out for it. Who knows, maybe we'll spot him later. In the meantime, we're back on patrol here. And look at all this garbage. Why is there so much garbage on the road? Like, what the heck is that? Oh, here we go. Hot pursuit. Of a garbage truck. Roger that, dispatch 3, Adam 10, responding to this hot pursuit 13 miles an hour of a garbage truck and my Nissan GTR because we re really need a fast car to catch up here to this nasty garbage truck. Looks like they're just right up ahead. Yep, I think I have a visual. I believe there's another. Look at that. There's two GTRs. There's another Nissan GTR, a white one, now in pursuit of a suspect. We got the train coming. Go, 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 go. Can we squeeze through before the train gets here? Yes. There we go. Watch out, officer. Come on. Go, go. You got a Nissan GTR. What are you doing? That guy has no idea how to drive the car. And there is the garbage track. Dispatch, go ahead and show me now. Primary in this 1080 southbound Carson Avenue. I have another GTR unit here with me. Looks like the suspect is about to make a turn. He's going to be turning right. All right, we got a bit of traffic here that's going to block him from moving any further southbound on Dutch London Street. What are you doing? What is that cop doing? Oh, he's trying to block him in. He's trying to block him in. All right, I'm going to move in as well. He could be stopped. Oh, he's, he's pushing He's pushing the GTR out of the way. Watch out, officer. They're getting out of the car. Let's see here if we can get him out of the vehicle. Like he's just pushing them out of the way. Okay, that's it. Dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Uh, suspect is being extremely aggressive. We're going to need backup units out here. Let's go full out aggressive on this guy. He's, I believe he's heading towards the docks here. The Los Santos docks, the port of Los Santos. We do have a couple of CVPIs now jumping in on our pursuit. Suspect is continuing. I mean, he literally tried to kill those officers by writing them down. We got officers now all over the place here. Another GTR in front of him here trying to slow him down. Watch out, he's being extremely aggressive. There he is, putting, uh, just pushing that vehicle out of the way. He's just like flying right into the car, so I don't want to get in front of him because I think the only way to stop him here is probably going to have to shoot him. We're going to have to shoot him dead. Let's see if, here, if I can get... All right, I got a couple of tires. Now this could be... Oh, watch out. Not this car. Get back into the Nissan. There we go. I got a couple of tires. There, there's an officer. Watch out, officer. Get out of the way. You cannot stand like this in front of the truck. Oh, what are you doing, CVP? He's, look at that. He's uh, driving into the garbage truck. That's an interesting tactic here by that cop in the CVPI. Again, they're attempting to block him, and we might actually be successful here. Let's see what he's going to try to do. He's going to might try to plow through traffic. Yes, he is. Out of the vehicle. Sir, get out of the car. That's it. This is the end of the line for you. Get on the ground, man. Get your hands up. Hands up on the ground. There we go. He's giving up. Dispatch at 3, Adam 10. Suspect is at gunpoint on Chump Street. I'm going to move in for arrest. And there we go. We're going to be code four on this pursuit. Suspect is in custody. Cameron Richards. Cameron, what are you doing? You stole a garbage truck. You ran down officers. I don't know if they're okay. I hope they are okay. Look at all the GTRs that showed up to this pursuit. And this one is missing a door. Goodbye door. <laughs> Hashtag no door. All right. Let's go ahead here and give him a quick pad down. See if he's got any weapons on him or anything else for that matter. A UFO detector. Beep, 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 beep. 
UFO detector is a very interesting choice here for Cameron Richards. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. Can I get a 1027 check for a Cameron Richards? Let's find out who this guy is. License is expired. No active warrants there on him. What is going on back there? Why is that a cop driving into the back of the truck like that? What are you doing? Alcohol is going to come back as zero. No alcohol in his blood. And Drugalizer is going to show us that he is negative on cannabis and cocaine. So this guy looks like just was out for a joyride. Maybe he worked at the garbage company and decided to steal the truck. I don't know, but we're going to get him picked up. Can this officer, instead of going back and forth like this, can he maybe pick up the suspect? Dispatch, can I get one of these officers to pick up the suspect? No, he cannot. <laughs> so bad. Alright, let me just take a look here. No, not the not the SUV. No, I don't want to search the SUV. There's some poor guy in an SUV now that I just searched there. He's got a used enema inside. Inside the duff stuff. Okay. He is going to jail. There you go. I wanted to search the garbage truck to see if the suspect left anything behind. Uh, a note which reads, you suck, get off YouTube. <laughs> a tray of baked cupcakes and a garbage bag full of cat turd. Well, I will take the baked cupcakes. They're delicious. Um, I will ignore the note because maybe, maybe I do suck. What am I doing with my life? And the garbage bag full of cat turds. Well, that along with the pet collar, well... I, it's a garbage truck. I guess that makes sense. Uh, dispatch uh, 3, Adam 10. We're going to need a heavy 1051 to pick up this garbage truck. Hopefully, they'll send a big tow truck out this way. And we are going to be code 4 and 10-8. Mmm, the baked cupcakes are delicious to die for. And we're back on patrol in the Rancho area, Lowestin Boulevard. Let's see what else we can find. I hear sirens and... Looks like something coming across the computer here. A runaway vehicle. Uh, Roger that dispatch. 3 Adam 10 responding code 3. Uh, what is that guy doing? What is that guy doing? What is going on with these terrible drivers out here tonight? A runaway vehicle. I believe it's this red car right here. Uh, dispatch, I have the vehicle located. It's going to be this red car uh, on Lowestoon Boulevard making a turn onto Little Bighorn Avenue. His windows are all smashed out. I think, and I think I can hear it, his throttle is stuck. Sir, can you pull the handbrake? I don't think he can hear me. Sir, can you pull the handbrake? No, he can't hear me. Okay, let's see here. I hate to wreck the GTR, but I'm going to try to get it in front of him and try to slow him down. Oh, what, what are you doing, maniac? He just hit me, went around me. Don't go around me. Get behind my car. I'm trying to stop you. What is he doing? Why? Okay, that is weird. All right, then we'll just do that. We'll just drive you into the fence. No, don't turn. Don't turn. Yeah, yeah, turn this way. Turn this way. There you go. Oh, what? Okay, that is not... Okay, excuse me, but your throttle is not stuck open. You're just uh, being a D-bag is really what you're, you are. You're just being a careless driver at this point. That's it. I'm going to signal him to stop. Let's see if he pulls over this way. Oh, and of course he's going to... Try to take arrest. off, or what is he doing? I don't know, he's Little resisting arrest. Avenue. I thought so. I thought so. Hey, get out of the car. Yeah, get out of the car. The get your hands now. up, man. Hands up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Okay, there you go. He's finally complying with me. Yeah, I thought so. I did not think that your car is a runaway car. Your throttle wasn't stuck. You were just being a very bad man. Ben Sa S Salier? Salier? Is that how you pronounce it? Salier? Ben, what the... Uh, Oh, yeah, okay, there you go. I was about to say, what is your problem? But his eyes look red, the pupils are dilated. I think I know what his problem is. Some narcotic intoxication is possibly what it is. Let me just quickly pat him down first. See if he does have any sort of weapons on him. Nope, nothing of interest here. Okay, Ben, let's do a quick little test here. I'm just going to put this in your mouth. That's a quick swab of your saliva. Let's see what our drugalizer shows here to us. And he is positive for cocaine. There you go. That would explain why he is out here driving like a maniac and pretending his car is a runaway vehicle and his throttle is stuck open. No, 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 no. It is not stuck open. It's just you being high on cocaine. That's what happened. He's coked out.
Let's do a quick breathalyzer test. I'm going to see here if he does have alcohol and he does have alcohol in his system. 0.056. So for all we know, he could have been out here driving drunk. Maybe now he's starting to sober up, but he could have left the bar and he's high on cocaine and he was drunk. So there you go. Okay, let's find out who this guy is. Dispatch, can we get a uh, 10... Nah, 27 check on a Ben Salier. License is valid, no active warrants, a perfect dispatch. Send a 1091 to my location for the suspect in custody. Little Bighorn Avenue and Carson Avenue intersection is going to be our 1020. I'm going to jump here and look inside his car. He's got a postcard from Canada. Wow, well, there you go, inside the ISIS. That is what the car is named, that's not me. ISIS, right there. Okay, let me just run the plate check there. That's a pretty standard plate here. Uh, dispatch, I need a 1028, a 46, Edward, Edward King, 572. There's the prisoner transport to grab Ben Salier. Hey, right here. Yeah, you can figure it out, I'm sure. Laura Davis, I was about to say a felony warrant for the registered owner, but the registered owner is a Laura Davis. Not sure if they might be related. Maybe it's even a stolen car. He could have just stolen the car, so... We'll get this out of the way here. Dispatch requesting a 1051 uh, to my location as well for this uh, red ISIS. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull right in here while we wait for the tow truck to arrive. Let's kill our lights. It's going to park up right here. Maybe I'll grab some beer, wine, food, and ice. There's the truck there. Just got the car towed. The prisoner transport is gone as well. I'm going to jump in here into our computer. We're going to create a... Uh, rest report here for Ben Salier. Let's go ahead and add that right there. So his charges are, first of all, uh, he is driving under the influence because he was all uh, under the influence of cocaine. We're going to go ahead and put that in here. Cocaine, cocaine, there we go. And then traffic wise, I'm also going to tag him with reckless driving because I don't think his car w had the throttle stuck open. I think he was just doing this on purpose, possibly because he is... Um, Hi, I'm Cocaine. So let's add that as well. Those are the two charges that are going to go on file. Obviously, the officers at the station will be able to figure out if they want to tag him with more charges. So there you go. There's the arrest in there. And we are all done. We're going to be code 4 and 10-8. And thank you for watching this episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. Don't forget to hit that like button. I really do appreciate that. Hey, check out some more videos here on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you're stopping by for the very first time. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.